Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. You have the ability to add your own customized fields to the customers and jobs, vendors, employees, and item lists in QuickBooks. This feature allows you to create fields that you want to have appear for each record in a list. This lets you track information that is specific to your particular business. For example, you could add fields for color, size, and style to your item list that would allow you to create items with the same general description in your inventory and then differentiate between them by color, size, and style. If you add custom fields to your sales forms or purchase orders, QuickBooks will automatically enter the values specified for the employee, customer, vendor, or item that you selected if you entered a value. This doesn't mean that you must use customized fields in your forms, however. You could simply add a custom field as a way to record information strictly for your own use, recording your opinion of a customer's credit rating, for example. However you use it, QuickBooks will remember the information that you enter into the customized fields when you import and export data and also when you memorize transactions. You can add up to seven customized fields to each of the following lists customers and jobs, vendors, and employees. You can only create up to five customized fields within the item list. Custom fields that you add to a list are available to every record within the list. You can create custom fields that can appear in the customers and jobs, vendors, and employees lists by opening any one of the three lists and then opening either the New List Item or Edit List Item window within the selected list. Within the window, click the Additional Info tab for the record, and then click the Define Fields button that appears at the right side of the tab within the Custom Fields section. That will open a Set Up Custom Fields for Names dialog box where you can create your custom fields for all three lists at once. You can add a new custom field to a list by clicking into the first blank row within the label column at the left side of the dialog box and then typing the label that you want to give to the new field. To the right of that, you then check the checkbox for each list shown as a column of checkboxes within which you would like this field to appear. Note that a field can be used by one or more lists. Now you repeat these steps until you've created all of the necessary custom fields for the three lists that are shown. Once you're finished, click the OK button to save your changes and return to the selected list window. You can then input custom field data for the new list entries or edit existing list items to add new data into the custom field that you just created. Custom fields are always shown on the Additional Info tab of the New and Edit windows for the Customers and Jobs, Vendors, and Employees lists. Adding custom fields to the item list is a bit different from adding custom fields to the other lists. While we haven't examined working with the item list much, it is an important list within QuickBooks. You place any items that appear in a QuickBooks purchase order, sales receipt, or invoice into the item list. You can access the item list by selecting Lists from the menu bar and then choosing the Item List command. In the item list, you can add custom fields through either the New Item or Edit Item window. You can select either the New or Edit Item commands from the item button in the lower left corner of the list to access either window. Once there, add custom fields to this list by clicking the Custom Fields button at the right side of the window. That will open a Custom Fields for Items dialog box where you can enter the values for any custom fields that you create for your item list. You can create custom fields by clicking the Define Fields button 
to open the Setup Custom Fields for Items dialog box, where you can add a new custom field by simply typing a label for the new custom field into the first available blank row underneath the label column, and then checking the adjacent Use checkbox for that row. When you're finished, you can click the OK button to create and use the new fields. You can then enter a custom field value for the current item if needed. Click the OK button again in this window to return to the main item window when you're finished, and then click the OK button again to save the record. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.